Hey everyone, welcome to our Pinterest party today. It's craft time. And today, for crafting, we're going to make protein, bracelet, chain, sequences of sides. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that you have done is you have completed your beautiful sheet on all of your uh, amino acids that relate to your letters of your name. This amino acid sequence right here is extremely important. As you recall from uh, things we've discussed in the past, if amino acid sequencing is changed, then the gene expression will change. Could be a good change, could be a bad change. Could be blue lobster, could be sickle cell, something like that. So uh, order is very important. So what you need to do first, you've gathered your beads, they're in your bag. Uh, you need to put those beads in order on your desk for how they were uh, on your sheet. So here on my sheet, uh, the white bead is always the start, and then I have the order laid out right here, and I have my black bead is my stop codon. So this is the order in which I need to put the beads onto the elastic, black elastic cord. If you have not got one of these yet, go up to station one, two, go grab yourself a black elastic cord. This black elastic cord will kind of represent the bond between amino acids. So if you can think about what that bond is, it is called a polypeptide bond that bonds those amino acids. All right, here's how we do it. So you have your string. You want to get those two ends right up top here. You're going to take the first bead. You're going to put them in one of the strings. It does not matter which one. Just put it in one. Take the other string and go in the opposite way into the bead. You then have the two strings right here coming out of the beads. Get those even. I like to get them even with each other and kind of pinch it with my fingers and I pull this bead all the way through until it goes down to the end of the black elastic. It has been looped through just like so. So if you can see this here, this white bead is now on the end. I'll verify my two ends are fairly even. If they're not, I can kind of move this around a little bit and get these two ends even. Okay, so I've just done one. And really, if you think about it, your hand, your fingers, represent a certain uh, molecule, a certain, a certain protein that puts these amino acids onto the polypeptide chain. Remember what that thing's called? Transport RNA. So the transport RNA is going to go drop off the amino acid. So here's my hand, transport RNA, going on to drop off the next one. Put it in one of the uh, sides of the string, doesn't matter which one. Take the other string, go through, get your two ends even, and pull it all the way through. It's going to now link up with the other one. So here you're, you're beginning to develop a link of amino acids attached with a polypeptide chain. Beautiful. Let's do another one. Go back up. Take a bead, take the next bead. Order matters. Put it into one side, take the other string side other way, line them up, pinch them with your fingers, pull the bead through all the way through. There you go. You got 3 now. So you're going to continue this process until you get all of your amino acids onto the polypeptide chain. Once you get them all done, I'll show you how to tie it off uh, for the next step. Okay, folks, so you have your entire amino acid sequence completed all right here. You know, if you think about it, these would be the amino acids. The black elastic would be the polypeptide chain and order matters as will then fold to become a protein in your body for time to tie it off so this doesn't get messed up. So once you reach the last bead, it'll be a black bead, that's that stop code on, you'll want to take those two ends and just make a knot and bring that 
all the way down nice and tight and I'm going to do a double knot so the same thing there we go nice and tight that way that bead stays in place <clears throat> these last two take them both and I'm going to loop them through the white bead that, that opening in the white bead right in the middle so looping it through on both of them so it makes a complete circle around that white bead. It's going to be kind of tough to get these to go in there because that, that opening in the white bead is now kind of clogged. So you get both of them to go through. At this stage in the game, if you need some help with this, I can definitely help you in the classroom. Come on, go through there. There we go. Got them both. Pull it tight. <clears throat> I don't like to have any excess space on this, so I'm going to make it nice and as tight as I possibly can. There we go. Good. And then, again, I'm going to knot it. I'm going to take both strings together and just loop those into a knot. And that really gets it nice and good. And there you go. And again, I like to do it twice just because it's really not going anywhere. But I take both of them together and knot it. And there you go. Now, you will take some scissors. And you will remove the excess elastic and there's your bracelet everyone it's so pretty and beautiful thanks for crafting with me today hope you had fun